In this Procreate tutorial I'm gonna show you how to draw this cute Shiba Inu dog step by step. You can get the brushes you will use along with the color palette via the free download link in the description below. If you are ready, let's grab our pencils and get started. The size of the canvas is 2000 by 2500 pixels, 300 dpi. To draw this super cute Shiba Inu dog, I'm gonna use the fill brush from my cartoon fill brush set that I shared on Patreon some time ago. The tutorial bundle also includes an oil brush and polka dot pattern for the background. If you'd like to get the full cartoon fill brush set, please check out my Patreon page. You will find many in-depth drawing tutorials and brush making tips there as well. The link to my Patreon is in the video description. And all tutorial files are free to download on my Gumroad. It is also linked below the video. With that being said, let's start drawing. So I will open the bundle and grab Kitty Cat for texture. This brush has a secondary color in the settings, so we need to select two colors instead of one for drawing. Now I'm going to the color palette and first I will tap on this orange color number 2. Now let's tap here on the second color and select the next one on the right. So we selected these two, number 2 and 3. The brush will look different if we draw clockwise or counterclockwise, so I prefer the first option. Let's just set the size to run 60% and draw a fluffy ball for the head. We can make a few strokes inside. Then it'll go down with a curve. I will make this shoulder a little bit bigger, because the head will be bent. Like this. Then I will make more strokes, going down. Just to fill all the space. So we can add more colors to it. In the next step I'd like to draw the ears, so I'll go ahead and create a new layer. Let's place it below this one and use the same brush together with the same colors, just make the size smaller. This time it can be set to around 32%. And I will draw two similar shapes. I will start from here and make strokes going up like this. So it'll look like a rounded pyramid. We can fix the edges. And then draw a similar shape on this side. Also making strokes clockwise. Let's adjust this shape. And we can also adjust them using liquify tool, if you want to change the shape a little. So it is in push mode here. And I will stretch it to the sides. Just a couple more strokes here. And later we will shade them. Right now I want to draw the nose and the eyes. But before doing it, let's also change the background color. For that I will just go here and tap on the first color. After that I will create a layer above layer 1 to draw the nose first. As the base color for it, I want to use black. So let's open color disk and double tap here at the bottom. Let's try to use this oil paint brush. Original brush had a secondary color as well, but I removed it. So we can use only one color here. And draw a nose shape. 
somewhere here in the center, but it will also go with an angle, following the rotation of the head. For this brush I will first set the size to 13%. To create an outline, let's place it somewhere here inside the head, and it will look like a rounded triangle. So first I will draw an arc on top. Try to keep it symmetrical. Then I will make these rounded corners on the sides and go down. Let's connect them here at the bottom. And once we have the outlines we can fill it. So I will increase the brush size and start making bigger strokes. inside it. Let's try to keep these edges. And now the shape is ready. We can add the details to it right away, such as nostrils. Let me just make it a bit rounded here. It will go upper. And to draw the shading and nostrils, I think I will create a new layer, right above this one. Let's clip it. And also change the color and the brush. I will first select color number 8. Then go to Procreate Textures. And select Kura Wong. Here I'd like to use Selection. So let's tap here on this icon and select Prehand, but without color fill. We only need to create a selection here. It will include two small circles for the nostrils. So let's start from here on the side and make a circle like this, not connecting it. Then we can do it this way, go upper and outline another circle. Actually, it will look as an arc. We only need to connect it here. And then tap. Now let's pick the brush. We need to increase the size a little. I think around 3 of a percent. And start making strokes around the circles that we selected. Now let's make the size a bit smaller and draw like this. I will also make a straight line here in the center with low pressure. Now let's go back to the color palette and select color number 6, which is almost white. And I will paint around the nostrils again. This one. It will work as a highlight. We can make a subtle stroke here on this line. Just a little bit. And also here. Let's make it a bit wider in the center. I think it turned out quite nice. I will just make a few lines. This way. On each side. Now the nose is totally ready. We can deselect it. In the next step I'd like to draw the eyes. So let me go ahead and create a new layer. As the base color I'm going to use number 9, which is dark brown. And for painting, I will select oil paint. Let's also first create an outline. 
and the size is set to 9%. We can try to draw only one eye and then duplicate it. The eye will consist of two curves. So let's draw the first one. It will start at some distance from the nose diagonally. Let's make it round on top and go to the right. Then make a small curve like this. And go down. Now we need to connect it at the bottom with another curve. Now we can increase the size and paint inside. Also adjust the edges to make them soft. I'm lifting the pencil up from the canvas while painting to get this oil texture. Let's finish creating the base. Just a couple more adjustments. And when it is ready, we can start adding more colors. Let me just make another stroke here at the bottom. To make it smooth. After that I will switch to the next color number 10. And with a big size, draw a circle inside. This color is slightly lighter. Now we can switch to the next one. And make even more strokes inside this area. Just making them randomly. In the end I will select color number 12. And draw like this. With the lightest color. We can also try to make a stroke here, with very low pressure, just for a highlight. Now we only need to draw the pupil, and we can pick the color right from the nose. Draw another circle here. Let's also make it big enough but still keep the light area around it. In the end I will add a light reflection. And for that I will select color number 6. Just draw a small circle on the intersection. After we did that, we can go and duplicate the eye. Flip it, rotate and move it to the opposite side of the nose. Let's also try to keep the angle of the head. And put it somewhere here, at the same distance. I think it already looks very cute. And next we can draw the smile. 
So let's merge these two layers and create another one under the nose. In the color palette I will select color number 8 and draw the mouth using the same brush. This brush is at 9%. And first we need to draw a line. Let's make it short. Starting from the nose and going down. Not very thick. From here it will split into two arcs. That go to different sides. This one. And one more. Now let's continue them to the sides. Also this one. Go even upper. So it'll look like he's smiling. Same here. It may go even upper. And later we will smudge this line. For now let's make it brighter. So I'm making more strokes. Let me erase the tip a little bit. And I think we can make it slightly darker. So let's go to adjustments and apply Hue Saturation Brightness option. Just reduce the brightness a little. I will set it to 46%. And for now I will keep it like this. Let's start working on the fur. So let's go to the first layer that we created, then make another one above it, and clip. Since I'm going to use the fur brush, we will need to select two colors. The first one will be number 6. Now let's tap here and select number 7. These two are selected. We only need to switch to Kitty Cat brush. It is at 60% and we can start adding the colors. I will start making strokes under the nose to highlight this area. Drawing clockwise. And I will continue going down like this. This way the left edge will be smudged. Let me adjust it here. I will make a couple of more strokes. Then we can make the size a bit smaller and add a couple of strokes above the nose. It'll go like this. Now let's try to smudge the edges. So I will click on the finger and select Kitty Cat brush as well. The opacity is set to 75%. And the size is a 37. I will work mostly on the edges. To blend it with the fur. Let's work on this side. And also here. Now we can also adjust the shape using liquify tool. It is set to push. I will drag this one upper. 
also this one to the side. I will do it until I like how it looks. And I think now it is totally fine. Let's add even more colors to it. And for that I will create a layer between these two. Let's also select two colors. For the first one I will pick number 3. And for the secondary color, let's select number 4. The size of the brush is set to 60%. And to make the shading gradual, we can reduce the opacity to around 70% or so. I will just make strokes like this. Going up. Also clockwise. This area is highlighted. Let's go a little to the right. And make a few strokes this way. On the left side as well. After we added the highlight, let's also add the shadow on the edge. We can keep the secondary color, but instead of yellow, switch to color number 5 to get a darker shade. I will just reduce the opacity even more to 60% and increase the size. Let it be 80%. I will start making stroke on the edge with very low pressure. Let's make another one to blend the colors. And after that I will do this. To darken the edge even more, I will create a layer above layer 7. Let's clip it and set it to color burn. Here I will be using soft brush from airbrushing and select the color right from the background. The opacity here is also set to around 65% and I will make a stroke on the edge to make it darker. Let's go to the right side and then to the left. We can also darken it at the bottom. Like this. And after that, I'd like to introduce even more colors. Something yellowish. So we can actually try to create one more layer. For example, between these two. I will also set it to color burn. And change the color to number 4. Let's make the size a bit bigger and apply it on the transition between the white color and orange. Like this. It may go a little inwards. We will get this yellowish shade. Let's put it here. And then also on the left. I think this way it looks much better. Maybe I will just smudge the light area a bit more. Let me go back here. And I will make a few strokes. Now I think it is better. After we did that, and before finishing the mouth, I think we can shade the ears. So I'm going to the layer with the ears and creating another one above it. Let's also clip it and switch back to fill brush. Now we also need to pick two colors. First one will be number 6 and second one will be number 7. Let's keep it in low opacity. And also reduce the size. I think it around 34%. But before applying it, let's change the lace mode to overlay, so we can see the result right away. Now we can start making strokes inside the ear. Going gradually up. Then 
then on this one and after that I will create one more layer above this let's keep it in normal mode not forget to clip it and apply the same colors but you can make the size a bit smaller make more strokes to add the light color all we need to do is add the shadow and for that I will make one more layer also clip it and set it to color burn here I will select another color it will be number 13 and switch to soft brush we can now select it from recent brushes just apply it on the edges like this here I will make it wider and also apply it on the lower edge let's do the same here darken it this way and also on the right now the ears are absolutely ready let's finish the mouth I will go to merge these layers then go to the ninth layer create another one above it and also clip here we will be using textures and to make them look better let's change the lace mode to linear light I'd like to start with dark colors so we need to pick number 8 go into procreate textures to select Kura Wong the size of the brush is around 5% and I will first apply the shadow under the nose making strokes like this We can do it by tapping and go down also paint on the right side like this you can make the size even smaller and try to rotate the canvas let's draw around this line go a little to the sides on this area Try to make it even darker. Let's go a little upper to the eyes. Also draw above the eyes. Actually around it. And then under this line let's go a little upper here and then down I will make a few strokes with smaller size going even upper same here And then go a little down let's now try to switch to white color start adding highlights on these areas Also highlight this part and with lower size make a stroke under the eyes like this let's try to smudge these edges and set the finger to the same brush 
but its opacity is at 55%. I will just tap a few times like this to adjust the shape. Let's work on this side and see what else we can do. I will smudge it a little bit here and then add more colors, both light and dark. This can be wider. Also a subtle stroke here. And actually we can add more colors here and there. For example at the bottom. To darken it a bit. Also here. Then add sort of a shadow. Like on this edge. Then this one. And it'll also get some texture. That's what I like. Let me switch back to white color. Maybe we can highlight the area above the nose. Just a little bit. Also here on the cheeks, can do it by tapping, highlight this area as well and make bigger strokes on the light part, just by tapping. In the end I'd like to smudge this line. So let's go back to the layer number 6. We can try to pick the color right from here. And first finish painting it. So I will select oil paint. Let's just connect these lines. Then I will click on the finger. And set it to soft brush. Let's just smudge this line a little bit. Go to the sides. We can stretch it up a little. Then go to the left side. Also change its shape a little. We can do it easily by changing the direction of the stroke. Let me smudge it a bit more. Here. Alright. Just finishing this one. Let me go back to this layer in linear light mode and work a little bit on these edges. So I will try to match them with the lines. Now it is better. The dog is almost ready and we can try to work on the background. For that I will create a layer here, right above this color. Then I will select white and the pattern with polka dots. It's in full size and opacity and I will make a stroke on the background. We can make it even bigger. If you want to make them less visible. You can set the lace mode to soft light or just reduce the opacity. And at this point the drawing is complete.
If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Check me if you post a version on Instagram. For more tutorials and brush sets, please check out my Patreon page. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.